Hi, I'm Hussam Dillai. In the previous video, we showed a list view items inside Xamarin Forms, where we showed a list of persons. For each one, we have his name and uh, his age. In this video, what we'll do, we'll try to make this user interface looks um, more better and uh, niftier than uh, this one. So we'll try to um, to change the code here, the user interface code. So the first thing to do, I introduce some um, some spacing here between each uh, each item so that I can differentiate uh, the items. So to do that, I'll go here inside the uh, stack layout and try to add margin or padding. So I set the padding to be, um, let's try 20. Control F5. So here I have, so um, the spacing between the items is equal to, uh, to 20 and also the spacing between the items and um, the left side of uh, the screen. Also what I want to do is to change uh, the background color of each item. So to do that I'll go here and set background color and I'll choose um, some fancy colors here. For example, let's choose the purple one. Control F5. And yes, here it's changing the color of uh, all the items. Here, the, um, we don't see the spacing here, it is not in blue. That's because here inside the stack layout we changed the, the padding, not, not the margin. So to be able to change the margin, we go inside the view cell and look for a property called margin. If we don't find it, then we might use the grid and look. Uh, for a property called margin. So, um, unfortunately, there is no uh, margin property inside Xamarin uh, forms. Instead, it's just using um, uh, the padding property. So, what I can do here is to put this, um, just to put this uh, stack layout inside a grid. So this way I'll have the stack layout inside the, the grid. And here, um, let's, let's just try it. I'm not sure about the result. Yeah, it's still, uh, there is no, uh, no blue color in between um, the different items. So what I can do here maybe is um, Maybe I can add like small grid, grid background color equal uh, blue and high request and just set it to, uh, uh, to be equal to 10. Let's try it now. It's 
not working because then um, here as I put the grid and the stack layout inside the same grid so they will they will uh, the first one to show up is the grid because it's the first element declared here and then the stack layout will be shown after the grid but it will be shown on top of the grid so the blue color of the grid is actually hidden by the stack layout so to show them side by side I can come here and change this to a stack layout with orientation equal uh, to vertical so I can show the grid and um, at the bottom I can show the stack layout Yeah, now I have that spacing, that blue uh, spacing between uh, the different items. So now what I want to change, maybe, um, is to change uh, this um, this typo here. So I want it to be uh, uh, bigger, to show the name in a bigger font size. So to do that, I can inside the label and here I change the font I think it's um, yeah the font and here I have a set of fonts that I can choose from so let's say for example I want to use the large font here throw the five and yeah now the font is is bigger inside both the Android and uh, the Windows device. Now, what I want to change is uh, to change the opacity of uh, of the edge and make it um, make it a little bit bigger using the font equal bold and here I go to change the opacity to be like um, 0. Uh, 0 0.6 for example let's try this value yeah it looks um, some way uh, much more better so now let's go and change uh, the background color um, the blue background color to be um, let's say white I think that will give um, a better user interface and here also let's change it to white let's see the result here yeah it looks somehow um, much more better than uh, than before